This is Twit. Before we get to the main event, this last story, I'm excited to see this news. I was I was wondering if it was going to happen. Because I remember when they initially, when Google initially launched RCS, it seemed like in, uh, end-to-end encryption might not actually happen. Like, oh, that's just not part of this. But the news uh, sounds like is sounding positive for that. Yeah. Um, and the way they did it uh, is just, you know, exactly right. The the listeners of the this podcast know that, uh, you know, end-to-end encryption is politically charged and a super hot topic. Um, the question is, you know, how do we resolve this fundamental tension between individuals' desire and right to privacy and law enforcement's, uh, depending upon what country you're in, you know, in, in, in the U.S., we have a constitution that protects us from unwarranted search and seizure. But if you get a court order from a judge, then you have a, then law enforcement has a warrant in order to search. The, the argument being that that's for the, the general public betterment. Um, anyway, the problem, of course, happens when you have encryption that cannot be cracked. Um, so as we know, exactly as you were saying, Jason, that traditionally, Google has been using SMS and back in 07. So for what, uh, 13 years ago, the, the, the replacement for it was technically designed, finished and ratified. And we talked about it way back then known as RCS rich communication services. Uh, it's an open industry standard, uh, I thought it would be good to give it sort of a, a, a setting. So I, I snipped the first paragraph of, from Wikipedia. Wikipedia says, Rich Communication Services is a communications protocol between mobile telephone carriers and between phone and carrier aiming at replacing SMS messages with a text message system that is richer, provides phone book polling for service discovery, and can transmit in-call multimedia. It is part of a broader IP multimedia subsystem. They said it's also marketed as advanced messaging, chat, join, spelled J-O-Y-N, SMS OIP, message plus, and SMS plus. They said in early 2020, it was estimated that RCS is available from 88 operators throughout 59 countries in the world. There are approximately 390 million users per month, and the business is expected to be worth 71 billion by next year, 2021. So anyway, despite its specification and ratification way back in 07, uh, the adoption of RCS has been somewhat lackluster. Um, But, you know, it does offer a number of new and useful features. Uh, You can get typing indicators, uh, meaning you you know when someone you're you're at the other end is typing. You know, iMessage has that, and that's sometimes interesting. Uh, Presence information, location sharing, longer messages, uh, and better media support. So, you know, you get better quality photos and videos, chat over Wi-Fi, knowing when a message has been read, sharing reactions, uh, and better capabilities for group chats. So it's like, you know, it's a a set of capabilities whose time has certainly come. Um, And what's most significant, I think, from a political standpoint, is that this isn't all by virtue of some add-on. It will be in the base Android OS, and, and that's significant. Last Thursday, Google said that they've completed their worldwide rollout of RCS and are moving into a new phase. And here it comes. Adding native end-to-end encryption. So Android's native messaging platform would potentially be able to offer the privacy and authentication features of the, you know, that we're all familiar with from like Threema and Signal and WhatsApp and so on. Um, at the moment, end-to-end encryption in Android Messages, which is the Android app, uh, is only available to those using the beta version of the app. 
And of course, it requires a beta version user to be at each end. Um, their rollout is expected to continue into next year. Uh, and the best news of all is that Google wisely chose not to roll their own solution. At this point, end-to-end -end encryption has been added to the solved problems list. Thus, there is no need to do it again. Google has adopted the very well-designed and already well-time-tested signal protocol. So that, it not, that, it, it, that just could not be cooler. Uh, this means that signal goes mainstream in Android moving forward. Um, and, and this is a big deal uh, and a big day, I would argue, for end-to-end -end encryption. Um, essentially, it means we have signal for RCS built into Android's native messages app. Google said, quote, eligible conversations will automatically upgrade to be end-to-end -end encrypted, which means as this happens, as existing devices update to having uh, the latest Android messages app, uh, and certainly for all new Android devices moving forward, uh, you just get automatic end-to-end -end encryption. And, you know, given Android's spread and reach, they're currently three quarters of the entire mobile OS platform globally, with iOS being the other one quarter and, and a few other, you know, also ran uh, OS platforms. Uh, and given that no third-party app will be needed for automatic unbreakable encryption to be provided to its users in the future, uh, there's no way to see this, but other than a big poke in the eye to law enforcement and intelligence services worldwide, uh, I have a feeling that we haven't heard the end of this intriguing encryption debate. Uh, the ante has just been upped. Um, so uh, I just think it's very cool. Not only that, uh, that, that messages now is fully on board with RCS, but the idea that it's just, it just bundles signal in, uh, boy, uh, I mean, I, I, we're, you know, the law enforcement and, and governments keep grumbling about end to end encryption. Um, it, it, it is a problem without a solution that there is no way we know for there to be some sort of weakening that allows for selective encryption without breaking the the value of encryption. So I don't know how we're going to solve this problem. I just, I don't think we do. I think you, you, you get access to the data before it goes into the encrypted tunnel or after it comes out at the other end, but you just, you just have to give up on on decrypting it in any way in transit. And of course, that th there's also the data at rest encryption problem of of these devices really being resistant to anyone decrypting them without the the unlocking key. So, yay for Google. We'll we'll see yeah. what this uh, creates.